these guys are the ones that put me on the, the track to where I am now anyway. Why is that? Why did they put you on the track? Well, I started to realize that I would do anything for these two animals. Um, and I, I wondered why is it that I let these guys sleep on my bed with their heads on the, my pillow. Uh, I do everything to protect them and yet I didn't even think of other animals as being deserving of that kind of treatment. I so I was charged last year because the slaughterhouse and the industry was trying to intimidate us and it had the opposite effect. Um, we, we hold weekly vigils at the slaughterhouse where we bear witness of the animals and what we see are uh, pigs that are foaming at the mouth, that are dying of thirst in the summer. And right after the incident where I was charged, people ran in front of me at the next vigil and gave water. So it, it had the opposite effect. It didn't intimidate us because I don't think you can fight the golden rule. Like we, The golden rule was established thousands of years ago. It's universal. Um, it's, it's, the, it's something you've been taught to, to do as a child. And so I think that's what this trial is about. It's about the golden rule, but it's also about how we treat uh, pigs. Are pigs property or are they persons? Do, are they individuals? Do they have rights? And we're, we're arguing that pigs are not property, just like you know, human slaves were not, should never have been property and women should have never been property. And this is the current battle of our times. And you know, we believe that if we, if we treat pigs as property, ultimately it will lead to the destruction of ourselves. I mean, if you look at the animal agriculture industry, they're the leading cause of greenhouse gas emissions. Um, they